everybody. Welcome to Baffin's Lounge. And today I wanted to uh, talk about a couple of quick things. Kind of do a little product uh, evaluation, what have you. In my ears here, I'm actually using these in-ear monitors. One of the things when I started with the MCJ band and, and that I asked that the guys do is, we're going to use in-ears. And uh, I didn't even have a bass amp. Um, I know that my guitar player and the lead singer, he had a real problem with that in the sense that it was an old school way of doing things, or a new school way of doing things, and he was more old school and, you know, the amps and mics and the monitors, and I said, no, this isn't the way of the future, and, and, and this is so much better. And so we actually went that way, and we had, um, um, you know, headsets, earbud things, but we had actually molded. Um, uh, uh, we went to uh, an audiologist and actually molded uh, things so that our, it would fit in our ears. And what I just, as the bass player, you know, my drummer and my guitar player and lead singer, um, he, he, those guys are very comfortable with the sound they're getting, but as the bass player, I kept having issues. And, and you know, the bass was just, the, the, you know, if, the, if I put it in my ear like so or what have you, um, you know, the bass would drop and, and, you know, the way I shifted my head, and of course I'm singing background harmonies and as I moved my jaw, things would pop out. It was, it was a real struggle. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I follow Olivia Zeta. She is the uh, a wife and background vocalist of uh, King Diamond. And uh, she had mentioned uh, Ultimate Ears Pro and how she loved them. So I actually went to their website, I checked it out, and I, I submitted uh, a request to talk to a salesperson. And, you know, I have to say, they're, these guys are a pro organization on all levels. And so what happened was is that um, I spoke to somebody, um, he uh, spent the time, he was a pr product manager there, um, and he spent about an hour on the phone with me. He talked me through all the product lines from the very first, from the, from the lowest end to the highest end. And he actually worked with me on what product of what of their lines would be the best suited for me. And we wound up agreeing that the uh, UE7 would be the best, which is uh, just two steps above from their, from their you know, base uh, core, around 900 bucks uh, maybe the, the lowest end would be six nine hundred and then of course they theirs go up to you know twenty five hundred dollars or more on some of the really really high end things that they do um, they've got like flat response ones and stuff for record for mixing recording and all that other stuff so really great stuff and the process was to go to an audiologist get another mold in my ears and then I sent it out to them uh, and they did a digital scan of it. So they actually did a 3D printed uh, uh, mold of my ears. And when I got them, you know, and they cut, they're really nice. When I got them, they come in a custom engraved uh, box and, uh, you know, that you can have here. Um, when I got my first generation ones, they fit great and they sounded excellent. They really sounded good. But the problems that I was having again is is the seal that I was getting on my ears, and you know, I, I, just a couple of things. Maybe I'll give you some advice and stuff that I've done. Um, I found when you put these on, I actually put a piece of tape, medical tape, right about here on my neck, and what I do is I wear an undershirt, okay, in between my shirt and my skin, and it kind of keeps this. I was originally taping this. But now with the undershirt, it kind of keeps these this isolated together. And so all I do is tape the back. I tape the back of my neck with this medical tape, give it some of a, of a loop in there so it's got some give, and then I just tighten it by my ear. And I, and I found that's been the best solution here. And as you can see, these are absolutely custom molded to, to my ear. Now, the problem with my first generation of them, um, which... Uh, which um, Oh yeah, which I got in my ears right now was is it was it was great. It was a custom mold. It felt good, but again, I was still having not the proper seal that I wanted to. But I love them, and I went back to Aaron and I said, uh, "Dude, I want another pair. I want these. I, I want these adjusted, but I'm not giving these up. I'm going to buy a second pair. And here's the changes that I need made to it. And what did he what he suggested was that I used uh, dental wax." And I put, um, you know, it's 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 like wax that kids put on their teeth when they have braces and keeps their lips from getting ripped up from the braces, kind of adhesives. So I would put dental wax in and around this section here of the ear, and I found where, you know, and it, it wasn't a perfect seal, but it was a great way of fitting it. And so then I sent him pictures and said, you know, this is where I need this adjusted. So they sent me, I purchased a second pair. I just love these. He sent me the second pair, which was adjusted you know, based on the dental wax. 
Now, these gave me the isolation and they gave me great sound. The problem is how built they were, and it must be these tips, I, you know, again, I don't know. When I was actually working with the, um, uh, you know, he actually uh, was, was talking to, he would, he would talk to the actual product or the, the, or the, the, the tech, the, the leader of the tech group, you know, he talked on my behalf. It was, it was just outstanding the way they treated me. Outstanding. I mean, I'm just a pissant dude with a pissant band, and he treated me as if I was with what have you, fill in the blanks. So he would he he worked with me on all these. So I got this pair. The problem with this was it fit great, but as I moved my jaw to sing, the ear would these would shift. These would pop out, and it would I would lose a seal, and the bass would start to change the volume. On my initial pair, the bass would be like you know. Like almost like a six seven dB drop, the initial uh, of wait of when I had those custom molded or those 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 first generation the rubber molds, then when I got my first generation of these, there was a disparity between the base and lack of the seal, but not as bad. When I got these, better sound, but still again there was an adjustment that had to be made. So I made my original pair. Okay, I just got these back. And these are perfect. These are absolutely perfect. And now I'm going to RMA these to get them aligned to the way these are because I'm always going to have a backup. If there's ever a problem with any one of these, you know, with one of these, I'm going to have. These are fantastic. I absolutely, absolutely adore uh, Ultimate Ears Pro. Um, they actually have a, a professional line and a consumer line. So they actually make a set of these for actually listening stereo listening in your iPod or listening you know for just you know riding a bike or whatever uh, I went for the for the pro for the pro line because you know I'm using it for pro line in the band and in, in music stuff so um, I want I wanted the set that could give me the best bass response and give me the best clarity of what I need to to move on you know and, and, and act you know work professionally and these are stellar pair um, according to what, what I was told, the history of these were is they were originally designed for um, Alex Van Halen from Van Halen back in the 80s. Um, he had, um, you know, he he was just with the drumming and never could get a good monitor mix. And they they custom designed a pair. These guys did, and he loved them so much he threw some seed money, and uh, that's what spawned the organization. And um, the their first line is the original Pro line. The 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 the, the initial I think the UE fives are the original ones that Alex Van Halen had designed. Or they designed for them, and of course they've improved it. Like I say, I'm using the UE sevens now, uh, and they go they go up from there. So. Um, um, this this is a great organization and a great product and it was a struggle to get these and it's hard when you're when you're you know he's there in California I'm here in Buffalo New York and you have to work with people to to try to figure out you know how the hell to measure your ear you know but they're pros they're pros all the way and I told took me two round trips to get these in perfect and I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't be happier. So I wanted to give a shout out because the product is ace and the professionalism and the courtesy that I've received in getting these things uh, purchased, adjusted, has been stellar. And being treated like an important client even though I'm, I'm a little guy, there's no difference. I'm sure right after he got done talking to me, you know, Ozzy called and said, hey, hey well, I feel like you, kind of, you know, whatever he said, but he probably stammered about his, how about his in-ears, and he treated him and me probably no differently. I don't know if Ozzy called, but who the fuck knows. The point is, is I was treated with absolute respect and honesty through the entire process, and I can't thank them enough for it. So until the next time we chat, you guys, I really appreciate it. Um, I guess this is the time to say like, subscribe, um, you know, so you can get more alerts of what I'm doing, which, you know, there's a button down below. If you're watching this on your YouTube, um, you push that button down below and um, you can subscribe and like and, and leave a comment, um, whatever it is. Thank you very, very much. Peace. Mm -hmm.